going to take a few minutes of your time to show and tell you about an integration between Adobe Sign and Adobe Connect. First, let's have a quick look at Adobe Sign. Adobe Sign is an Adobe Document Cloud solution. It is a cloud-based enterprise class e-signature service that lets you replace paper and ink signature processes with a fully automated electronic signature workflow. This is the Adobe Sign product page on adobe.com. You can sign up for a free trial. You can also sign into an existing account. Once your account is set up, you'll log in and you'll land on the dashboard. The dashboard gives you the ability to see the documents that are out for signature, manage them, run reports. Here I'm going to just upload a document that I already have in PDF form to the library so that I can send it out for signature. It's a statement of work, so I'll just give it a name that makes sense, SOW, and I'll simply drag it and drop it onto this form. Once it's uploaded, I'll use the preview and add fields. This will try to identify any fields that you might have in the document so that when you put it out for signature, they're easily identifiable. So I know that since this is my document, the signature fields are towards the end. And you can also see that it's identified some of those fields. So if I click, it adds text input fields. I'll remove some of those for the purpose of this demonstration. And then I'll save it. That's the process to add a document for signature. Now let's have a look at what you might do in Adobe Connect. There are times when you're in a meeting where an e-signature can be used to move an agreement forward. That's an easy enough process in Adobe Sign, but what if the individual that was willing to sign was in your Adobe Connect meeting? It would be great to present that individual with a way to sign right there in the Connect meeting, and that's what I'm going to show you now. Our friends at eSync Training have created a custom pod that integrates with Adobe Sign and allows you to have someone in your meeting room sign a document. Let's see how that works. The first thing I'm going to do is select Get a Signature. This option allows me to either choose from my Adobe Sign library, where we uploaded the statement of work, or upload a new document. I'm going to choose the SOW that we uploaded just a minute ago and I'm going to add the recipient who is uh, in the meeting room now. I'll hit send and now I'll select the document that you see in the custom pod in the room. Now I have a choice. The choice is host Base signing and now I can select an individual that I want to sign the document. If there are multiple individuals you'll see multiple individuals in this pop-up. Since there's only one person in the room I'll select them. Now if I flip over to Bill's view you'll see that Bill also sees the document but there are no tabs, no options, there's no prompt for him to sign. Once I hit assign and now flip back to Bill's view, you'll see that he now has a message that says start. If he selects that, he can add his name, sign the document, and hit click to e-sign to finish the process. Now each individual can download a copy of that document. Now that Bill is signed and both parties can download the signed document, let's open it and make sure that Bill's signature is there. So you can see this is the this is the PDF and we can see that Bill Turner's signature is in place where it should be. Now let's log into Adobe Sign and see what evidence we have of Bill's signature there. Here you can see that uh, this is Adobe Sign. You can see the dashboard and uh, the activity. 
Now let's have a look uh, under Managed. And you can see the document under the category Signed. On the right, you can see a image of the document. You can see that it was sent to Bill Turner. You can also have a look at the history of the document. And you can see when it was sent and when it was signed. Well, that is a brief look at the Adobe Connect and Sign integration made possible by eSync Training's custom Adobe SignPod. I hope you found this useful, and thanks for taking the time.